Hey there, it's uh, Christina Warren from Mashable.com and this is my iPad. And I just wanted to kind of show off a couple of different applications on the iPad so that you can see from a little bit better angle how they look and how they work. So watching video is one of the things that this device is, is really kind of made for. And nicely, ABC has uh, put um, an ABC Player app in the App Store so you can watch ABC programming online, um, which is, it's not Hulu, but it's a start. So as you can see, you can kind of uh, get a look at all the different shows that they have and you can if you click on a show it'll bring up you know the, the details you can purchase it on iTunes you can choose to watch it it'll start playing it automatically and then when you turn the device it will go ahead and put it in this orientation now it's going to make you watch a little commercial at first which is kind of annoying but that's okay and it'll actually show you in this view how many seconds you have left before it starts playing the ad um, but just kind of, you know, to, to look through a little bit more, you can see the different episodes you could watch of the show, in this case, of uh, ABC's Modern Family. And um, I think that actually the episode that, that we'll be watching is, is the one that was more or less an extended commercial for the iPad, which is kind of cool. So once that's done, basically, like I said, it'll automatically just kind of switch, and, and this shows the kind of the full screen. If you click on um, this button right here, um, it'll go ahead and make the screen um, fill the whole device in, it's a 4x3 screen so it'll crop off a little bit of stuff and you can move things forward, back, that sort of thing, pause, etc. So this is the ABC app and it's it's working pretty well right now. Um, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Twitterific for the iPad. Twitterific was one of the very first Twitter clients period and it was one of the first iPhone clients and now it's one of the first iPad clients. So when you log in, you can um, do multiple accounts and uh, have no ads if you pay $4.99 for the app. Otherwise, it's free. And when you click on your, your account name, all of this stuff comes up. You can get your app mentions, your messages, your favorites. You can see your lists. Right now, it only has the list that you've actually created. It doesn't show any list you subscribe to. It shows your trends. Um, so for instance, uh, I see you know um, what a trend right now is Matt Smith. So I can now see what tweets are coming in about Matt Smith, and if I want to you know, click on something more, I can see replies to this author, I can translate the tweet, I can email the tweet, I can retweet it to followers, all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, what I can also do is um, you know, just go back to my main account, and I can see um, any of my at replies that have come in. Again, you can kind of replay uh, or refresh rather by dragging the uh, window down and releasing just like on Tweety for the iPad or for the iPhone rather. You can also refresh by hitting a button. Um, hitting on this profile button will show your profile and you can do things like recent tweets and um, your follower count and that sort of information. And if you want to compose a tweet, there's just this compose button which comes up and you've got the full keyboard right here. Um, and if you uh, position the device this way, then you've got the full screen. And this little keyboard button here, which I'm assuming will be activated if you have it plugged into the keyboard dock, will just make the keyboard completely disappear. So that's pretty cool. So this is Twitterific for the iPad. And uh, it's it's pretty slick. It's got a really, really nice de um, design. It's pretty clean. Okay, so let's take a look at Netflix. Now Netflix is one of the services that again, um, kind of made for the iPad, and I was very surprised that this app was available on day one. And once you first, when you log in on the first time, um, it'll ask you to enter in your login credentials, and after that, it will go ahead and show you your recently watched stuff, it'll show you other things that you like, and you can kind of flip through different programming that's available. Um, you can also manage your queue. So, for instance, let's see what do we have here? The Last Picture Show. Again, this is one of my favorite films. So I can um, click on play, and it'll go ahead and authorize and do preparing for playback. And then it'll go ahead and start loading the film. Now, again, this is a letterbox. Um, but if I click on this button right here, it will go ahead and make it um, 4 by 3 It'll crop it a little bit. You can fast forward a little bit. You can also go back 30 seconds. You can pause. 
And if you wanted to actually just go back to something else, you could pause, you can press this button right here, which will take you back to the browser. And um, then it'll take you back to your main screen. You can look at other things. But if I wanted to go back to say, okay, well, I've looked at this stuff, but you know what? I really do want to continue watching the last picture show. Just press the back button twice. And it'll take it a second. And then resume playing the film. So here we've got the last picture show, which uh, I think is kind of awesome to be able to see on an iPad.